Hello friends, Aston here. So today I'd like to introduce you a add-on called Rapify. So it's just released in few few days. So, uh, so this uh, add-on here is basically designed to help you to uh, create Google Slides a little bit easier and help you to create charts uh, with a data source from Google Sheets. And uh, here we are using Data Wrapper. Uh, it's a chart service, so we are using this tool to help us to manage our chart library, and we can use this library in the presentation. Uh, and we also can create charts from, you know, we are building, we are using Google Sheets as a data source to create this library. All right, so if you'd like to use it, you can install this add-on from the uh, uh, workspace market. And I already have this installed, so just let me show you how to use it. So first I'm in a Google slide. And here, if I open the sidebar for the first time, um, you will need to add a, you'll need to have to create a Google data, uh, you need to create a data wrapper account if you don't have one. And for me, so here you can go to data wrapper, uh, their, their website, and uh, if you already have an account, you just need to create a token to get started. And then with this token, we can pull all the charts from your data wrapper account. So here I already uh, logged in with my account. And uh, if I go to the da a dashboard, I have option to, you know, so this is dashboard of mine, and I can go to the settings. And here, we have a session called uh, API tokens. And here you should have these you know tokens here, but if I, I'd like to create a new one for this uh, video, so make sure you have the the scope selected property. So we need to have this checked. And for the chart, we need to you know we need to create chart and uh, we need to read your chart from your for the library. So for the folders, we still need to read and write for the team. I think that we we only need to uh, add the read scope and for the theme. So right now we are not going to use it, but it, we can have this selected for the user. I think the read is fine, and the visualization for the read. So of course you can have all of them selected. It's not a big uh, issue for the team. We are not using any of this. I think I think we need to read. Read, read, because if we are, if we are sharing, uh, if you have an organization means they are sharing the, you know, team account or something like that, so maybe you need to use it. So generate a token like this, and make sure you remember this token or, you know, save it somewhere safety. Uh, so because we only can see this token at once. So, uh, so copy it. But this is just for them. I'm going to delete it anyway. Uh, so let's just go to the this slide here and uh, here I'd like to enter this token and set as access token and you're going to verify this token and it's going to if the, if the verif verification is successful it's going to pull all your charts from your library and then start loading your charts here and you can start play uh, this tool here in the Google presentation so while this is loading we can do something here so the first thing here we can do we can, you know, we need to insert some kind of placeholders for because we need to lay out in some way. So here we have a placeholder tool here. If you click on it, like uh, we have a matrix here like this. So this is from very similar, like you're trying to insert a, a table in the presentation. All right, basically very similar idea. Uh, so if I'm trying to input a two charts here, maybe uh, two charts, so like this, vertically, so I can have one chart here and one chart here. So this is help us to lay out this a little bit easier because it's going to do the calculation for you and uh, the, the margin or the padding here is basically equally distributed. Okay, I think we have some tool here like this in the arrangement here, like this uh, alignment or something like that, but you get the idea. So when we have this uh, placeholder, so uh, this only thing you need to do is just select uh, a placeholder and uh, you can uh, 
search, uh, or you can just uh, scroll down, find the chart you want to insert. So I can insert it like this, and it's going to, you know, insert the charts into this placeholder. It's going to take a while, and uh, during this time, you can pick another one and uh, try to insert another one. It's going to insert like this, and uh, you will see here. So this chart, we are is not only just insert, uh, and also we are, we are, uh, you know, we are remember. So we recorded the the chart inserted in, in the presentation, so we can do an update. So if you have an update in your library from data wrapper, and uh, you can do a automation here. So you can manually do this refresh for the current slide. So if you have multiple slides in this presentation, you can do an update for all of them. And also, you can export this as PDF or, P, uh, or PPT if you want. And we, here we have something called a dynamic text. So this is basically a, uh, it's not for the charts, but this is also a feature for updating. Uh, just in case I have a slide, I have some placeholders like uh, I have a title here or something like that. So I can do this update here. So this is only for handling text, uh, but you need to uh, insert here. We have an example. Let me open this one. It's just the key value pairs. So if we have a title here, so I can set this, let me just copy this URL and I can set this as a dynamic text spreadsheet source for us and we can set it like this in the, if I'm trying to, you know, not this one, I think I've closed it. So if, let's say I have a chart, maybe I have a chart here uh, and just want to update this, um, this dynamic text and uh, I need to go back. And this update slide is going to update both the dynamic text and the chart. If I have a chart here, so I can maybe I can insert a, another placeholder here of this slide. And I can, you know, I can, I can resize it if I uh, like this, All right? And then, I need to do a, what if I want to add another chart here for this one. The reason we are doing this because uh, the, the image here is just a, they're not scalable, okay, it's just a, if I resize it, it's going to be, uh, this is fine, but if I resize it like this, you will see here, this uh, is not looking very good, right? like a stressed or something like that so not very good but every time if we're trying to do a change for this slide like this the ratio or the you know all of these changes and uh, if I'm trying to do a refresh for the current slide it's going to check this text placeholder uh, and get the data from the dynamic text spreadsheet as you can see at your title so this is the value and it also going to refresh this chart and uh, if any update, and also it's going to check this size and get a perfect chart from the data wrapper API. Okay, in the automation, so we have this scheduled update here. Uh, we can set, you know, we can set a trigger to do this update automatically. Maybe, you know, if I have a daily timer, so I can set maybe every morning a uh, 9 a.m. like this. And uh, I can send email notification if I want. And maybe I need to send this report to somebody, right? So this is a test. And I can enter email address here. And uh, you can customize some message here. And if you want to attach it as a PPT or, you know, PDF, you can do it. And, uh, we have a BCC and CC option here too, so I can set this schedule, and then this report is going to be sent to this user or to this this person every day, right? And it's going to refresh this, all of this chart before we send this report 
so I can send a test email if I want. So that's basically covered the most of the core features of this add-on for the slides. And then the next part I'm going to show you how, how we can use it in the Google Sheets. So here I have a Google uh, sheet here. So let me just close this sidebar. So the same way if it's been installed, it's going to install for both Google Presentation and uh, Google Slides. I'm sorry, not Google Slides, Google Sheets. And this, if we open the sidebar, since we already set up the uh, data, rep, uh, data wrapper token, so if we go to the access token, you will see the token is already set it in the Google Slides. So we won't set it, we won't set it again for the Google Sheet because they're sharing. Uh, because you're using the same account, right? So they're sharing all of this information between the presentation and uh, Google Sheets. So we don't need to do it again. And here we have two, you know, we have, we have two sections here. One section for the connected sheet, and another one is for the external, uh, external uh, charts, which is not connected to this to current uh, file. So here we don't have any chart here, but here we can, you know, we can select some data and uh, we can create a new chart and you're going to select the range uh, the active range for you and this is going to use it for our a source for the chart we're going to create so let's say this is a youtube test chart and uh, here we can uh, select the chart type we want maybe we can try area and then you can give it a description this is optional you can Use tag uh, here. You can apply tag, and you can you know add a folder if you want. Place it somewhere. Uh, this this folder structure is from your data wrapper. Okay, so let's try to sell this folder, and we can create a new chart like this. It's going to create a new chart uh, and get the data from here, and we can have this updated because you can just update your data in the Google Sheets and uh, we also need to do an update. So here is just bring this dialog here. We have the data wrapper, a chart editor embedded here. So you can still do some update here. It seems like something is wrong, this data wrapper. But we don't need to do anything here because if you can see here, we already have this uh, thumbnail generated here. Uh, okay, I think it's a network issue there. And here we have some options here to make a copy of these charts. And then we can select another data source or something like that. And we can edit this chart. So we have this, you know, uh, text. So it's basically very similar. And then we can make a copy of it and to make a new chart, right? And uh, we have more actions here for these charts. So we can do something like download this as a image to your local. So copy chart is going to copy it to your clipboard and uh, embedded code. If you want to use it as an embedded chart, something like that, you can download it or tweet with a Twitter to share it. Uh, so we are planning to add more for sure. So let's just close it for now. And here, this is going to identify this source just in case you have uh, too many charts and, and you, cannot, you don't know where is the source, right? So we can use this function to you know, select this the data. So if I, I'm in this tab here, so I click on this one, it's going to activate the source of this chart. So th this is help you to manage your charts a little bit easier, especially when you have a lot of charts. Like if I go to this external library here, we have about thousand of chart here. So right now we have 840 charts in this library. So too many of them. And uh, from, for the most time, I think for the users, it's going to be very difficult to find the source. And that's almost it for the core function. We can create charts and uh, we can, you know, we can edit charts. We can make a copy of it to create a new one. And we have more options we have to do. And here we can, you know, if we have, have some update here, we can do an update to upload the latest data to these charts. So not this, not only this one, 
all the connected charts in this file. Okay, so it's going to take a while, and uh, we also have this option here to refresh this sidebar here just in case we have some update in other place, right? And uh, here we also have this schedule update. So this one is an update. So let's say every day maybe you have some update in this Google Sheets and you want to push all of this update to your data wrapper account for all of these charts which connected to this present uh, to this Google slide. I'm sorry, not Google slide, I always say Google slide. Uh, to, uh, all the charts which is connected to this Google Sheets and uh, you can set a schedule uh, or a trigger here to do this update maybe every day for you and uh, we can keep all of it, uh, your charts in your data wrapper account and keep them always the latest data from the Google Sheets or something like that. Okay, so this is about this automation for the Google Slide. And now what we can do, so we have this new one created, right? So if we go back to the presentation here, and I'd like to add a new tab here, a new slide here, get rid of this. So if I'm trying to do a refresh for this chart library, or I can reopen this sidebar. So now you can see we have this charts here and uh, we can use it here. So let, I'd like to replace this one, right? If I want, I can just select this chart and uh, add this chart and you're going to, you know, replace it with this latest one we just created in the, hmm, where is my, in this uh, presentation, I know, in this Google slide, I'm always saying Google slide, it's Google Sheets here. Okay, so that's basically the, uh, the whole, the core logic or the core workflow where using the, in this uh, in this add-on and I hope this can help uh, for I don't know maybe some of your daily business or your daily workflow uh, so you can you can try to install it so right now it's still in you know still in develop so this is what right now is just the first version we are we're planning on you know working on more uh, features and uh, we believe it's not we, we maybe have some issues that are in this add-on right now. So maybe if you are interested, you can you can try to install it and try to uh, play with it. If any issues or any other problems and any other ideas, maybe you can send us some feedback. So here we have this option here to send feedback in both the slides and sheets. Okay, we have this option to send feedback. Uh, if any problems or issues or any other ideas. All right, and uh, I think that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye bye. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Wake back.